Hi, my name is Lori and I'm an art therapist. Welcome again to my channel. In this channel, I'm going to talk about different learning activities through arts and play for children ages 6 to 10 and show you how you can carry them out step by step. Today, I'm going to talk about coping skills and how we can use what we have learned in my last video. Last time, we talked children about six basic emotions and ways to categorize and express emotions, such as through emojis, facial expressions, colors, shades, vocabulary, and textures, and identified children's coping skills. In today's video, we are going to build upon what we learned. Ask children how they would feel under different situations, and you can collect examples from their sharing. For example, finding schoolwork and exams difficult, having an argument with a friend, and bullying. Please know that if a situation has caused a significant impact on a child's emotions, behavior, or daily functioning, then it's better to look for help from a professional. We can ask children to first select the basic emotions on a poster paper, the six stations we made last time and then find vocabularies on the paper to provide a detailed description. In addition, we ask them to use facial expressions, body language, colors, shapes, or textures to express their emotions in a nonverbal way. Later on, ask how they handle these situations. You may need to point out inappropriate methods and discuss how these approaches are not suitable. We direct them to healthy coping skills they already have and children can learn from each other through sharing. In today's art making activity, children are going to create a place that makes them feel positive. You can extend this activity by inspiring children to think of this place through meditative music or a guided imagery script for kids before making the artwork. You may find the scripts and audios online. Meditation, breathing, and moving to music are all good coping skills. Today, we are using watercolor paper and bleeding tissue paper. You may demonstrate how to use it and have children practice. Cut or tear a piece of tissue paper and put it on the watercolor paper, and then paint over it with a clean brush and water. You can put two or more color tissue papers close and you will see the interacting effects of different colors. Some tissue paper may be too thick to sip colors onto the paper. In this case, you can pick it up, turn it over, and put it back down to color the paper. This material is easy to use and creates an unexpected and fluid effect. When children make their artwork, they can first sketch it to make a simple plan. It can create an effect similar to watercolor painting.
If children prefer to make the artwork more defined, they can use sharpies or when it dries, use markers or color pencils to outline or draw details. In the end, you can also remind them to bring this place with them in their heart and revisit this place mentally or physically when they're not feeling positive, which can be another coping skill. If you're interested in teaching or working with your child in creative ways, please subscribe to my channel and check out my book Learning Through Arts and Play. It's now available on Amazon, iTunes and Barnes and Noble. You may find the links below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.